Today's question is, can I use Google Photos to edit my pictures, make them look better? My answer is a resounding yes. My first demonstration is going to be taking a selfie and just editing it on the phone right away. So let's say that I'm going to reunion and they've asked me to submit a current photo, hopefully a professional looking one. I'm just going to use my phone and take a selfie. Now let's make that selfie look better. So I took that picture with my Samsung phone. The first thing to know is do not tap the little miniature in the camera app to edit it because that will take you to the native app, the Samsung gallery. You need to go out to the home page and then open Google Photos rather than gallery. Now, if it was a, an iPhone that you used, same thing. Do not tap the miniature in the phone app. You need to go home and tap the Google Photos. Otherwise, it will be using the native Apple Photos app. Once you're in Google Photos, it works just the same on the Android as it does on the iPhone. So I'm going to open that picture and go into Edit. And notice right away, it took a second and then it shows this portrait. That's because Google Photos uses artificial intelligence. If this was a picture of a mountain, portrait would not be one of your options. Since it is, I'm going to try it. And notice how it brightens my face and it blurs the background. I think that's nice. Next, the organizers have said that these pictures should be perfect squares. So I'm going to crop it. I'm going to tap this little button to set, say I want it to be a perfect square. And there we go. I can still get closer if I want to. And then one more thing. I kind of like a vignette around the side. Notice that there's this num this main menu down here. And then for each selection of the main menu, there's more. Under adjustments, all the way at the end, there's vignette. And I can adjust how much vignette I want, just a little bit. I like that. I can save a copy. And because all this was done right on my phone, I can immediately share it via email to whoever it was that said they needed the picture. The whole process took like two minutes. Next, I want to show you some more editing options on existing photos. And I'll finish by showing you a little bit of editing using the computer. Open Google Photos. And here is a picture that's way too dark. The Edit button is this one in the middle. You tap Edit. And then Enhance is their way of saying Auto. So you just tap that and you have a very enhanced picture. I tap the enhance, it turns blue. I just tap it again, it undoes itself. And then there are two other options, warm and cool. You might even like warm better than enhance. And notice bottom right hand corner here, I just save. And this photo has been shared that will now be edited. I could save a copy to make a whole other picture, but that gives me two pictures. I like just save. Well, this is on the device. You need to give permission to modify that picture on the device. Next picture. This needs to be straightened or rotated. You tap the edit and that is crop. Notice that there's a horizontal bar here. It starts with suggestions, then crop, tools, adjust, and filters. And each one of those options has another row of options for it. Under crop, all you have to do is put your finger where the zero is and drag this slider and notice the grid that comes up. I can line the horizon up with the grid and now that picture is straight. I will save it. Now it gives me an option to save or save as copy. I just want to save it.
This picture needs a crop. That is our RV through the windshield of the people behind us. I have to tap it to bring the buttons up and then tap edit. This also, just like the last photo, I want to go into crop. But this time, it doesn't need to be straightened. It just needs to be cropped. Notice the four dots on either end. I just drag. I can drag from the corner or I can drag just up and down. Notice if I drag up and down, I can make it get real skinny. What if I didn't want that to happen accidentally? You tap this little button right here and it will give you the options of what aspect ratio. So I like it to be 16.9. That fills my phone screen. And now I cannot make it skinny. It will adjust and remain a perfect ratio of 16 by 9. Once the frame is how I want it, I can move the picture around within the frame as well. When I'm done with the crop tool, you tap the check mark. And that's all I'm going to do to this picture. Save and save. This picture needs several changes. Let me tap on the edit. First, I want to crop and rotate. I'll rotate first. Then I'll crop to I don't need as much road and I want the mountain in the third. Now, I think it should just look a little bit more colorful. Under adjustments and then the top row, look at all of those. All the way over toward the right, there's something called pop. And then you have a slider to put more or less pop. Can you see what it's doing? It is just making it more colorful and more clear. It's making it pop. I like it. I tap done. I can also add a vignette. That just means darken the edges, kind of give it a frame. I like that. And long press to see your original so you can tell whether or not you like what you've done. I do. I tap done and save and save. Now here's one that definitely needs to be lightened, but not all of the picture. Just where the people are. There's so much in the shadows. Watch this. Tap edit. And it's under adjustments. Remember, there's a whole lot of adjustments. The first bunch is about brightness. And here we have one called shadows. That means just give me more light. As you increase the number, you get more light in the shadows. Now I can see them. I'm done with that. I think I will also give it a little bit of pop. And I can long press and see the original photo. There's the much better photo. And I save. Now, if for some reason I want to go back to my original with this one, I would Go back into edit and notice the revert down here. When I click revert, then it's back to the original photo and I can save that. Last, I want to show you editing using the computer. Now, your photos are not on your computer. They're in the cloud. So there's no software to install on your computer. You just go to a web browser and photos.google.com, making sure you're signed in with your account. I'm going to find that picture of the mountain and edit it using the tools on the computer, which are the same pretty much as the ones on the phones. There's the edit button. First, I need to crop and straighten. So all the same tools are here. They're just laid out differently. There's the crop and straighten. And you use your mouse instead of your finger. I point to the zero and I drag over until it looks straight. I move a corner in to crop it. And then I look at other things like suggestions, enhance, adjustments, and pop. I like it. Long clicking on it will show you 
the difference that you've made. You save and you're done. So that is using it on the computer. And there is so much more. Make sure to watch some of the other videos, especially the one on Magic Eraser. And get good at editing. You can just play and keep making your pictures look better.